I'm John, and this is Lenny, and we're the Toronto Times, bringing you your news. Today's stories are nothing but aces, John. Sweet, that's good to hear. Well, recently, this new board game called Finance, I think, has been all the talk about men on the job. You mean Monopoly? Uh, I think. Yeah, anyways, Charles B. Darrow of Germantown, Pennsylvania, took what he called the Monopoly game to the executives at Parker Brothers. They soundly rejected the idea of the game due to 52 unknown design errors. The game's exciting promise of fame and fortune desired him to make his own game on his own. The game was also intended as an aspect of education, displaying the concentrating idea of land in private monopolies. <clears throat> The game was first created in the U.S. in 1935, and now for a small segment of local town boys buying it. Hey, uh, what, what you got over there in your hands, lads? Monopoly, sir. Neat. Uh, what can I do to get my hands on one of these? You got it off Fifth Avenue. We played it at my friend's house, and it was an ace. Could you go home now? I want to play it. Alright, uh, sorry for taking your time up. Uh, run along now. Enjoy your time with Monopoly. And uh, here you have it, folks. Monopoly is out, and it's hot right now. Well said, John. Now next up, soup kitchens. Soup kitchens are a place that usually give food to people for a low price or no price at all. Multiple have opened up around the town and seem to be doing very well, booming with business. The first soup kitchen was formed in 1931 during the Great Depression. Now a short interview with local worker at the soup kitchen. I'm here with Sally and she's been working at the soup kitchen for a month now. So how is it working here? Well, it's usually the same thing. The same routine all the time. We serve the same food, we usually see the same things. Well, how did you get involved in the first place? Well, I think things aren't going to get better if I don't make an attempt. That's very true. So how exactly did you join the soup kitchen? Well, I saw a Volunteer sign outside. That's very yeah. admirable. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Have a nice day. And here you have it. Soup kitchens are a great way to help. That's all for today, folks. And make sure you tune in tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. It looks like it's going to be a bright one.